Many of you people are asking for the tutorial on how to save the motion graphics project for future use inside of DaVinci Resolve. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to save any motion graphics project as a setting file and how to use that setting file in a different project. So you don't have to create the same motion graphics for each and every project again and again. Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, we have a subscribe pop-up animation that I have created in the last tutorial. And now I want to create a setting file of this animation. So what we have to do, first of all, we have to check the frame rate and the duration of this animation. So this is a 6 second long animation as you can see. And the frame rate of this animation is 30 frames per second. And now we have to export the complete project file on a different location so that you can carry your file from one PC to other without losing any media attachments. Just click on this house icon and here we have subscribe pop-up project file. So just right click on that and we get these two options export project and export project archive to export this project on a different location. So what is the difference between these two options? So the first option will export your project without any media files but the second option will export your project with the media files that is attached with your project. So I'm going to use this option export project archive and let's select a location. So I'm selecting this music folder, select this folder A, click on save and I don't want to export these render cache so uncheck this and uncheck this option also click on ok alright close this window and then go to your fusion page and here if you have any media files attached with your project then you have to replace all your media with the loader nodes so just hold control and a space bar for search box and search for loader So I'm going to replace this media in node with this loader because inside of loader we have an option to browse our file. So in any case if you lose your file location then you can relocate by clicking on this browse button. So select this loader, click on browse and open this media files and here we have our five media files. So just select this first one, click on open. And do the same thing for all these media files. So double click on this blank area, hit control plus a space bar, click on this loader, hit add button. This time select this second file, click on open and do the same thing for all. So And as you can see, we have five media files. So I'm going to replace this uh, media in node with this new loader node. So what we have to do, just select this bell, which is looking like this. Just delete it. And let's import this bell over here, which is exact same. And now let's attach it with this. And select this second bell, delete it, drag this bell over here. Let's attach it with this merge and uh, this is our mouse cursor so just delete this and let's drag this mouse cursor over here, attach this with, alright and here we have YouTube logo so just delete this logo, drag this logo, load up over here and let's attach it as it is and just delete it, drag this YouTube logo over here and attach this with this. All right. So if your media file is dislocated, then you can click on this browse button and relocate that media file. All right. And after that, select all the nodes just like that and leave this media out only and right click on that, go to setting, click on save ads and Let's save this setting file. So select that latest location. So I'm going to select this uh, folder A and let's call it subscribe setting file. So I'm going to call it sub, click on save 
and just go to your folder and as you can see this is our setting file and now i'm going to use that setting file on a different project so click on this house icon and let's open a different project so i'm going to open this editing project so just double click on that click on don't save and as you can see we have a video editing project and now i want to add that subscribe pop-up animation on this project so we have to check our frame rate so just click on this setting button and as you can see this is also a 30 frame per second project and now we have to take a new fusion composition so just right click on that click on new fusion composition and here we have to set the duration of this fusion composition equal to that subscribe pop-up animation so that was a six second long animation so i'm gonna set this value six second and set this frame rate 30 and click on create and just drag this fusion on this uh, timeline and then go to your fusion page and here we get this media out node and let's import that setting file over here so just go to folder and let's drag this setting file on this over here maybe and now we have to attach this uh, final output with this media out and our animation is ready so just go to edit tab and as you can see our animation is ready for render all right so this is it for now guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and also hit the like button if you like this video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye